Hello, I'm Goldie Hawn. Right now, somewhere in the magical world of Mashi, my little friend Goldie, the mindful Moshling, is exploring an enchanted forest in search of the legendary tree of mindfulness. Some folks say the tree is not real, though seeing is believing. So let's start off this evening with some wonderful deep breathing. Relax your belly, relax your body, and take a deep breath in through your nose. In and out. In and out. Follow me. One more time, air in through the nose, all the way up and breathe out. Okay, now make yourself nice and cozy. to Goldie, a marshling sweet and kind, who knows so much about the inner workings of the mind. Tonight she's going to help her friends, including you and me, by learning all she can from a very wise old tree. It's called the Tree of Mindfulness. Each branch has its own rhyme, teaching marshlings wonderful things the higher up they climb, from kindness, love, and gratitude, happiness and sharing, to laughter, joy, and optimism, empathy, and caring. The tree is in a forest, and finding it's not easy. So thankfully, its blossoms chime whenever things get breezy. Listen, you can hear it now. It's calling from afar. So snuggle up, close your eyes. Let's wish upon a star. wandering through the forest, ready to explore and find the tree she's heard about, but never seen before. She hears the chimes ring out again and blossoms fill the air, guiding her toward a very cute koala bear. It's Goldie's good friend, Sleepy Paws, who waves and says, hello, pointing in the direction of a distant lilac glow. His helpfulness is touching, but that's what good friends do. They help each other every day and offer guidance too. Goldie nods and thanks her friend, then walks toward the light. As lanterns strung from nearby branches sparkle, then ignite. The forest thins, and Goldie finds herself within a clearing. And through the haze, the outline 
of a tree begins appearing. stands tall in all its glory. And Goldie knows if trees could talk, this one could tell a story. She grabs a branch and starts to climb, taking in the sights. Oh, keen to learn about the tree and scale its dizzying heights. A lark pecks at the tree trunk with her pointy beak. Tap, tap. And a little message trickles out in glue beak golden sap. Welcome to the branch of kindness, the lark begins to tweet. While the message forms upon the trunk, oh, its sentiment is so sweet. Kindness is a virtue of which you should be proud. So try to be the rainbow in someone else's cloud. Kindness leads to kindness. It's wonderful to share. Best of all, it's free. So sprinkle it everywhere. The lark now flutters toward a nest and gives some chicks a treat. And even though the chicks aren't hers, they look like they could eat. That's kind of her, thinks Goldie. As the chicks begin to sing, looking out for others is a truly joyful thing. on her way, climbing up to hear what else this wise tree has to say. She sees her old pal Nodkins, a friendly bedtime bunny. Well, fancy seeing you up here. How you doing, honey? Nodkins smiles and says to Goldie, I'm doing just fine. Then boing boings along a twisty branch, upon which there's a sign. This is where you learn a lesson, rarely taught in schools. For you are now on bright side branch, where optimism rules. Goldie walks toward the sign that's fixed with vines and rope, and reads his little poem all about the power of hope. Mistakes are proof you're trying, so try to stay upbeat. When things go wrong, look at the bright side. Don't dwell on defeat. Optimism is like a magnet. Good things come to you. So hang in there and do your best in everything you do. farewell to Nodkins, then climbs even higher. And gazing at the stars above, she hears a wondrous choir. The singing makes her sleepy, but Goldie carries on, 
climbing up through moonlit leaves, accompanied by song. She takes a breather on a branch upon which there are words, carved into its ancient bark by squirrels or, or maybe birds. Goldie thinks the rhyme is by Professor Feather Snooze. <laughs> Because it's about putting yourself in other moshlings' shoes. She hears a hoot from above and knows that she is right. As her wise old owl friend swoops down through the moonlit moshy night. Hello, Goldie, says the prof. I hope that you can see that the words that I have written here relate to empathy. Goldie reads the rhyme out in her kooky sing-song fashion. Impressed that the professor knows so much about compassion. Empathy is when you walk in someone else's shoes. Imagining how they're feeling and valuing their views. to climb again. Stopping off to rest a little every now and then. The blossom on the trees now rustling gently in the breeze. And Goldie sees a squirrel in the branches, if you please. It's Nibbles, Goldie's squirrel friend, sitting on a leaf. Perhaps I'm dreaming, Goldie thinks. <laughs> this trip's beyond belief. Hello, Goldie, Nibble says. I guess I must conclude. You've climbed up here to read my words. Explaining gratitude. She sees that Nibble's little rhyme is written in the sky with letters formed by trails of light left by a firefly. Being grateful every day's not just an attitude. Appreciating little things can really lift your mood. Now Goldie spots a ladder leading higher up the tree. But slips so Nibble scurries up and says, hang on to me. Goldie feels so grateful as she grabs onto his tail. Cause friendship based on love and kindness never seems to fail. in the clouds now closer to her goal and now she feels the rustling branches tickling her soul they make her laugh and giggle and fill her heart with glee cause laughter is the greatest tonic even up a tree it's now that Goldie notices She's way out on a limb, but she's having so much fun up here, she can't wipe off her grin. She realizes that this must be the famous branch of laughter, and everyone who passes it stays happy ever after. A moshling swinging up above, a sloth 
whose name's Giselle. She's giggling so much that it makes Goldie laugh as well. <laughs> What's so funny, Goldie asks. Are you okay up there? Giselle replies, a good laughs, just like sunshine, we can share. Goldie feels the rustling branches tickling once more. If she wasn't in the sky now, she'd be rolling on the floor. For seeing Giselle laugh so much made Goldie laugh as well. Because laughter makes the world go round, just like a carousel. sleepy, but she's feeling so content. And as she gazes up once more, the air fills with a scent, a lavender aroma mm, mixed with sage and cedar wood. It seems as well as wise advice, this tree smells pretty good. The tree now soars into the sky, so Goldie takes a chance and dips her toe into a cloud, then steps off the top branch. The cloud feels so soft underfoot, it must be made of squish. So Goldie stops to snuggle up and make a little wish. She thinks about her journey to this happy, dreamy land and how her little moshling friends have helped her understand. Kindness is a superpower we should all be sharing. And empathy is everything. It's more than simply caring. That laughter's like a tonic mm, for the heart and the mind. And optimism helps us be more loving, true, and kind. Goldie drifts into a dream atop the mighty tree. So this is where our story ends. See Goldie, friends, is me. Goldie. Good night.